In this video, I would like to introduce my new telescope to you, which is the Asgard SGA55. This telescope has a focal length of 264mm, which is perfect for wide field astrophotography. In this video, I would like to introduce this telescope to you, which means I would like to talk about a few details about this telescope and talk about a few features this telescope has. But before talking about this telescope, I would like to mention that this video is not sponsored and I'm not being paid for it. All products shown in this video were purchased by myself. But now I would like to talk about this telescope. So first of all, I would like to talk about a few basic facts about this telescope, such as the focal length and the aperture. So this telescope has a focal length of 264 millimeters, which is perfect for wide field astrophotography. Furthermore, this telescope has an aperture of 55 millimeters, which results in a focal ratio of f4.8, which is actually quite good. Now I would like to talk a bit about the features this telescope has. So as you can see, we have the focusing system right there. So there's one focusing ring right there and there's another one. This one is for focusing this telescope and this one is the fine focuser, which should help you to achieve perfect sharpness and perfect focus, that's for sure. So I have already tested the focusing system yesterday and it was very easy achieving perfect sharpness and focus with this telescope. Something that is very special about this telescope is the aperture. So with this ring, you can change the aperture of this lens starting from f4.8 all the way up to f22. But when planning to use this lens for astrophotography, I would recommend using it wide open. Furthermore, something that's very important to mention is that this telescope is very, very portable. So for me personally, it was very important to buy a very portable astrophotography setup. So over the past four years, I've used my big telescope and sometimes it was too heavy for me to set it up. So when there are only a few hours of total clear skies, I usually do not set up my telescope because it was simply too heavy. But this telescope is way more portable. So the telescope like that is already very portable and it's relatively small, so it's a perfect telescope for astrophotography trips. But furthermore, you can remove the dew shield of this telescope and then this telescope is even smaller, which is perfect when using this telescope for an astrophotography trip, for example. Furthermore, you can remove the plate on which the telescope is mounted, which makes it very portable. And as you can see, when removing the guide scope mount, the dual shield and the plate, it's very small and it's a perfect telescope for astrophotography trips. Furthermore, you can rotate your camera with this scope. So on the one hand, you can remove the entire scope when moving it like that as you can see, and furthermore, you can only rotate the camera, which is very helpful if you would like to achieve a perfect field of view when photographing big nebulae in the night sky. Furthermore, it's important to mention that this telescope is suitable for full frame cameras. So I've planned to use this telescope as a wide field telescope. And therefore it was very important for me to use this telescope in combination with an APC sensor or a full frame camera, which helps me to capture very wide field images of the night sky. So yesterday I made a few test images with this telescope just to test how good this telescope actually is in combination with a full frame camera. So I've used the Canon EOS 60A and right now you can see the test image. And as you can see, this telescope performs perfect when using it in combination with a full frame camera. So this is an image that I've captured directly with this camera, so it's not cropped. So this is what an image looks like through this telescope in combination with a full frame camera. So this telescope is definitely suitable for full frame cameras. Now I would like to introduce this deep sky astrophotography setup to you. So the mount I would like to use is the HEQ5 Pro Goji mount. It's a very reliable mount and I really like to use this mount for deep sky astrophotography. On the top of this telescope, I've attached my guiding system. So I would like to use a 60 millimeter guide scope and at the back of this guide scope, I've attached the CWO ASI 120mm mini mono guiding cam. At the front, I've attached uh, my Astro computer, which is the CWO ASI Air Pro. But you can even attach um, the Astro computer on this guide scope mount right there. But for me, it was very important to use this telescope in combination with a guiding system. At the back of this telescope, I've attached my camera, which is the Canon EOS 60A. So it's an Astro modified DSLR camera. So this is actually everything I would like to mention so far about this telescope. Yesterday, I've taken the very first test images and I'm really happy with these results. In the next few weeks, I would like to use this telescope the very first time for deep sky astrophotography and I will definitely publish a video about this test on this channel. If you have any further questions about this telescope, feel free to ask me down below in the comments and I will definitely help you. If this video was interesting and helpful to you, I would really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so so much for watching and until next time. Clear skies, Felix.